Is your art good enough? I'm sure this is a question many artists have asked themselves at some point, and this question is getting even more prevalent now, what with AI art and all that. But, I'm here to tell you, yes! Yes, your art is good enough! Now that the short version's out of the way, let me elaborate. So to start it off, I want to say that whenever someone says this, I'm assuming it means that they think their art is not good enough to make a living from. Art doesn't have to be made for a living, and can simply be a means of expression or a hobby, and if that's the case, you should never think, is your art good enough? As at that point, you are making art for yourself, not for others. Now for those of you who are saying, My art looks terrible! How do I be able to sell anything? I can understand this, as I once thought that about my own art. But here's the thing, your art is constantly going to evolve and get better as you do more and more art. Trust me, you're going to look back at your art you did like one year ago or five and go, why did I ever draw this? So you never really reach a point in your art where you think, is it good enough to sell? So you should just start now. There was a really good example of an artist that I can think of, and he's called Hokusai. He's a very well-known artist, and is considered one of the best artists ever. You might not know the name, but I'm sure you would know one of his most famous pieces, The Great Wave of Kanagawa. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. He said at one point, and I'm paraphrasing here, but when, we reached, when he's reached 80 years old, his art would be just alright. By the time he reached 90, it would be pretty good, and then by 100, he'd be pretty happy with his art. So, you're going to be second-guessing your art just like he was, and, you know, when you're talking about him, what good is a, what is a good point to sell your art when you're 80, 90, 100? You, know, you should really just start now, because if you're thinking that way, you're never going to reach that point. One of the other points I wanted to bring up is that I hear a lot of people say how their style is, like, childish, and no one would want to buy it, but have you seen how popular Chibi is? <laughs> It doesn't honestly matter if your style like lacks basic anatomy or things like this. A lot of styles can just completely bypass this. And these are also things that, again, you will learn over time in any case. And the final point I want to bring is that a lot of people are probably thinking the big honking elephant in the room is AI. Now, this is a topic, honestly, that deserves its own video, and I probably will do one, although I've been kind of wanting to avoid it for a while. Um, but I do find the topic fascinating, and I, I do get your concerns. After all, why would a client hire an artist when you could get a machine to find it out cheaper and quickly? I do get this concern, but there has always been a market for people that want to have that handmade touch. We see this with jewellery, clothing, food, where people are willing to pay more and more for that authentic feel. Another thing is that people like seeing the process in the form of tutorials, and also people want to learn how to do art themselves. So teaching is also a very valid part, because people always want to learn how to draw art, and how to make a career out of it themselves, so teaching is also going to be another valid part of that. Uh, but again, that's kind of like another video. And there is one final uh, point I want to make, is I hear a lot of people, they say they don't know how to sell their art or it's too difficult, and absolutely it can be art, uh, hard. If, if it was easy, then you know everyone would be doing it kind of thing. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it yet and say it's easy, but there are many points of going around actually selling your art, and it, you know, it honestly does deserve its own video again, but so I'm just going to list out like one or two basic things. So one is online stores. There are many good places that you can do with online stores, like Rebel or Etsy and many more. They each operate a little bit differently, so I suggest that you look into which one you know, kind of suits you best on that one. Then, the second one is directly with clients. People will always want their own character, pets, or pictures drawn or painted. And you can find these people very fairly easily on online groups like in Facebook and Reddit, where they're often you know, asking for specific pieces. I think in the future with AI art coming, it's going to be a lot easier for people to have like hand-drawn pieces or traditionally painted ones, but that's another thing entirely. Um, Another one is art galleries, so people can sell their own art in art galleries. Uh, I've got my own art in a few art galleries and I've sold a few pieces there, but they typically, the, the ones in art galleries typically sell better are the ones that are again a little bit more traditional based, like just paintings and drawings and things like that. So there we go. I hope this has helped in some way or another. I think it's quite a bit longer than my previous video. I wanted to try and write things down a little bit and follow it a bit more like a script, as these things don't quite come naturally to me just yet. I feel that it might do if I get... 
Yeah. If I just get a little bit more practice in it, maybe I can stop stumbling over my over words and things like that. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you would like, I would love it if you could subscribe, follow me on here, my Instagram. There'll be a link in the descriptions for all of that. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, that's fine. And I still haven't really figured out how to end these videos just yet. So I think I might just cut it short right about 